your children to stay in school Keep their dreams, keep their dreams alive Live your dream, live your dream Welcome to Live Your Dream and I'm OC John Beggar. We're so thankful for the feedback we got from you, those who happened to call our hotline 0800 200 600. And many of you expressed that Taleb's story told you a lot on how best you need to fight against a child marriages and how best you can help the girl child achieve their dreams. Well then, now let me take you to Busoga. Let's follow up on Cindy's story as the family is anxious as Cindy is about to deliver. Let's see what happens. Grace. 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 Please wake up. Cindy, please let me sleep. It's too early in the morning. Grace. Grace, wake up. I'm feeling a little strange. Strange how? Just sleep it off. Grace, I don't know but what is coming off. What? Grace, the baby's coming. Mama! Mama! Help! Someone call for a taxi! <laughs> the midwife said she would inform us of Cindy's progress. Huh? Let us be patient. Is that what she said? Zipra, let us be patient. Hmm? Come and sit down. Come and sit down. Boniface, I'm too anxious. I cannot sit down. Cindy is just a little girl. She will be fine. Come, 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 come. come. Hmm? That's it. She'll, 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 she'll be fine. Just relax. Hmm? Ah, Boniface, mm -hmm. how come you too calm? <laughs> Zipora, my dear. Ah, unless you're telling me you want to enter inside there to help Musa with sin. Hmm? Calm yourself. Hmm? Calm down. Cindy's parents? Is my daughter okay? Y yes, <laughs> I am Boniface, her, her father. Calm down, madam. Cindy is well. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the information. <laughs> we will wait here. I was taking you. Calm down. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's wait. Let's Oh, Silver, thank you for the lift. Wouldn't have uh, made it in time with Cindy if it wasn't for your health. But you don't have to wait with us. <laughs> uh, if it is okay, I'll beg to stay around until Cindy delivers. Ah, uh, no, th th that will be a well young man. Eh? I'm sure you have better things to do other than sitting here. <laughs> I, I, I understand you actually borrowed the car that you used. The owner might need it. And also, who is driving your truck? Boniface. If he doesn't want to go, let him stay. Oh, all, all right then, you can stay. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the whole experience of Cindy brought Boniface and Zipporah closer as husband and wife, and they agreed with me that Silva was not a bad boy after all. See, so most cases, it's us who cast get our children having played with what we call bad elements. But it's our job as parents to guide them, to differentiate between genuine friends and bad ones. And suddenly, news comes in. Use your energy, Cindy. Use your energy, okay? Okay, push, go! Push! That's good, that's good. Ooh. 
Congratulations. Oh. <laughs> it's a bouncing baby boy. Thank you very much, Musao. <laughs> but, 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 but is Cindy okay? How is she? Can I see her? Both the mother and the baby are fine. You'll be able to see them as oh. we... <laughs> <laughs> Unlike Taleb, Cindy was lucky. She delivered normally in the hands of midwives. Teenage pregnancy has both physical and psychological effects on the girls. Cindy's parents were happy and excited that their daughter delivered normally, but they also admitted that their parental role played significantly to Cindy's experience. How best can we help our girls focus on books before babies? Call us on 0800-200-600. Until next time, I'm O.C. John Beggar.